Michael Omatame. Michael Omatame. As they are coming, please let's listen to the following outstanding testimonies from our church in Lagos, Canaan Land Otter. Hallelujah. Be blessed as you listen. Delivered of a baby after three years' pregnancy. I joined this commission in 2014 through the invitation of a zona pastor. I was pregnant for three years and had gone to several churches and offered sacrifices to idols for a solution, but all to no avail. I also sold my belongings and spent all I had in futility. In the process, my husband died in a motor accident until I met a zona minister during the district outreach who invited me for the midweek service, which was also a feed washing service. At first, I refused because there was no connection between my leg and my pregnancy. I told him what I needed at that point was to wash my tummy and not my leg. But he said, if my leg was being washed, my whole body, including my tummy, will be cleansed. When I told my neighbors about the feed washing service, they discouraged me about it. But later, I encouraged myself and attended the service. During the service, the bishop said, we should tell the God of this commission what we wanted. I prayed to God that I wanted to deliver my baby after the feet washing. Immediately, I started feeling strange pains. The pain was so much that my baby changed position. And I gave birth to this baby without any oppression. I give God all the glory. Sister Denike Elizabeth Adesanya. Now, let's listen to the, this other one. Dead brought back to life. On June 30th, 2014, my wife was due for delivery in the United States but was scheduled for two major surgeries, namely hernia repair and cesarean section. The CS was successful at the, as the baby was delivered without complications. However, as soon as the hernia operation started, my wife bled profusely. She then screamed that she would die. I rebuked that statement and said she would not die, but live to enjoy the blessing of the Lord in our lives. Meanwhile, the nurses rushed her to the intensive care unit and let her confirm her dead. She, she died in the hospital for seven hours, 30 minutes. Immediately, the zonal pastor came to the hospital with the bishop's photograph, mantle, and the communion. First, he placed the bishop's picture on my wife's head, placed the mantle on her stomach, and anointed her body. Therefore, he gave me the communion to drink. Thereafter, he gave me the communion to drink on my wife's behalf since we, we were one flesh and believed she would experience the resur resurrection power of Christ. At that moment, the medical team left the world because they were discouraged and tired of the whole situation. But through faith, we engaged in praise and worship for seven hours, 30 minutes. And as we did, the power of God surged into her body and she came back to life. We give God glory. In the name of Jesus, Austin Joseph, you're clapping for Jesus. Why not clap some more for him? It's a faithful God. Your name and to the point what God has done for you. Exceeding great. My name is Daniel Oga. I believe to job here last year, December. I do not arrive in Okada. I only pray to God when I enter here, I only pray to God to save my life from Okada. Last week, when I did pray, anybody who need anything as a pray. I pray that God, I need a car. There is no one can help me except you, God. So on my first I, I go back to home. So I, I go want to see, go see my uh, my uh, my sister. From there, I see one car. Then what's it? They parked there. I go. I I, I dial the number of the the the, 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 the car. So I call the man. The man come. I go with the man. Go meet my, my sister husband. Who come and price the car. First, God give me the car. I, this is the key of the car. Hallelujah. God bless him with a car from a car owner to a car owner. A sitting grace. My name is Michael Omatame. I want to appreciate God for what God has done for me. I joined this commission last year, October, and I'll be trusting God for breakthrough. I want to appreciate God because today, the very, I could have remembered the very first I want to join this commission when they came to my house to preach the word of God to me. I, tell, I told them that I'm going to come. So the, the following Sunday, being Sunday, I was not having any money with me. So I see, I see trying my best to come to church that day. The last time, last year, Shiloh, I came to this church. Daddy was saying that they should sow seed, Shiloh sacrifice. 
I look around, and I'm trusting God for breakthrough. I went home. I look around my house. I pick up my generator, the, the biggest generator that I have at home. I pick it up. I bring, I bring the generator to the church. To God be the glory. I was trusting God for a company, how to establish a company. To God be the glory, the company is, is established now. Everything is entered, the document, the CAC, and everything is entered. I have to appreciate God. Hallelujah. You're sure you're clapping for Jesus. Why not clap some more for him and give him the loudest shout of praise? Shall we give him a big shout now, everybody? I thought you would make it louder and clap bigger to the glory and pray of his name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' precious name. It is never too much thanking him, especially for this new month. The first Sunday in the month of August, in the year of exceeding grace, the grace of this month upon your life will exceed other months in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lift up your hand and give him the glory that you are alive and well. Give him the praise. Only the living, the living will praise you. And you are a living soul here this morning. Why don't you praise him? Why don't you exalt him? Why don't you lift him on high? Thank you, Jesus. Lift him on high. Bless his name. Exalt him. The Lord of hosts is his name. The one who dwells in light that cannot be approached. Blessed. 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 Blessed is his name. Glorious is his name. I bow before your throne. You are changeless. You are ageless. I worship your majesty. I give you the glory due to you. You are my king. You are my God. You are faithful. I am that I am. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Worthy. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb of God. Come on, wave your hand and praise Him. Bless His name. Rejoice in Him. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Of the Lord. Blessed, 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 oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name, blessed be the name of the Lord. He is worthy. And I don't. So we lift up, so we lift up. Holy hand in one accord. Oh, singing, blessed. Wave your hand, everybody. Blessed be your name. Oh, blessed. Oh. So we lift up, so we lift up, holy hand in one accord. Oh, singing, blessed be your name. Blessed, blessed be. Oh, blessed be the name. Oh. Worship him again. 
everybody. We praise you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father, in Jesus' precious name. We approach you on this first Sunday of the month, thanking you and giving you glory for every blessing we have enjoyed. We return the glory to you, Lord, in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Father, make this month indeed a month of wonders for your people. Amen. As we begin to jubilate and celebrate you this month, turn everyone here into celebrities. Confirm your word, Lord, Amen. and let your name be glorified. Amen. And everyone in the assembly, wave your hand again and shout, thank you, Jesus. Amen. This month, nobody will ask you again what is happening. Amen. They will evidently see it through you in the name of Jesus. Everywhere you appear this month, testimonies appear, sir. Yeah. Everywhere you step into this month, favor step in with you. Yeah. Every long standing affliction in your life gives way this month. Yeah. Every long awaited breakthrough for your life answers speedily this month. Yeah. So everyone expecting their miracle babies this month, God is answering you. Everyone long overdue for their miracle marriages, there shall be divine connections for you this month. This month, the works of your hands shall be blessed mightily. I decree that this month there shall be no accident of any kind for you. The preserver of Israel, who does not sleep day or night, will preserve you this month. Yeah. Stretch your hands here. I decree all you lay your hands to do this month shall prosper. Yeah. Somebody said, I've been riding Okada. I'm from an Okada rider. I became a car owner. I decree that your story shall be changed this month. Somebody came to church two Sundays ago and he had the word that your rank will soon be changed. And by last Sunday, he came and shared the testimony, my rank has been changed. I decree a high-ranking change for everyone here. Somebody says this morning things were not going well for me, but after my sacrifice before the Lord, now God has turned my story around. I now own my own business. I decree that this month, God is changing someone's status up. If you are that person, let your amen be the loud. You have a testimony to share before this month runs out. Shout again aloud and say amen. Lift up your voice again and declare it, Lord, this month I know my story is changing. This month, wonders will be performed in my life. God is working wonders in my life. This month, God is working wonders in my life. This month, declare it because God will justify you. It is your declaration that determines your justification. It is your declaration that determines your justification. Make your declaration. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. And everyone who believes this is your month, shout a loud amen. amen. Announce to your neighbors around you, you will soon hear my testimonies. Amen. Are you tired of telling more people? You will soon hear my testimony. You will soon hear my testimony the theme for this month is god works wonders through praise will somebody say with me 
will that take place in your life this month? Will you say it right now? If you are expecting wonders in your life this month, will you say it again? It shall be so for you in the name of Jesus. Christianity is a call to responsibility. God's blessings are available to all, but are only obtainable by those who are responsible. God does not put anything in your hand. He only puts them within the reach of your hands. For every blessing of God, somebody must be reaching out. God's blessings are available to all, but only obtainable by the responsible or to the responsible or for the responsible whichever way you want it god's blessings will never be put in your hand it will only be placed within the reach of your hands if you want god's wonders then you must offer god's praise God's praise is the channel for God's wonders. God's praise is the passage to God's wonders. Do you want God's wonders? Then offer God's praise. If wonders is your desire, then praise is the demand. For every desire, there are demands. God's blessings are free in availability, but not free in accessibility. If you want to assess it, then you must understand what it takes. I'd like you to get set. Strange wonders will happen in your life this month. Somebody's wife was dead and he desired that the wife will come back to life. And he discovered that praise is the demand. So he engaged in it for seven hours, 30 minutes, and the dead jacked back to life. Why? Only the living will praise thee. Shout hallelujah. Everything dying in your life will come back to life this month. Anything called dead in your life will come back to life this month. Dead businesses will come back to life this month. Dead careers will come back to life this month. Dead wombs will come back to life this month. One call impotent as we praise God this month, your potency shall be restored back to you. Every cancerous situation in the body shall die as we praise God this month. Those of you who believe, say a very loud amen. God works wonders through praise. That will answer for you in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. You'll be glad to know also that every Sunday this month, beginning from this morning, is Tag Osana Sunday. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. What does that mean? We'll be singing to the Lord minimum 20 minutes. As we are going to do very shortly, we'll just be jumping and leaping. I know as they were singing Hosanna to Jesus, he went to the temple 
and he chased out every devil tormenting them and he healed the sick amongst them but like you to get ready no stranger will remain with you this month sir. your finances will jack up this month sir. your businesses will jack up this month sir. all car riders will become car owners this month sir. kiosk will grow into big shops this month sir. turbulent homes will enjoy peace this month sir. Deal promotions shall be released this month. Sir. Rain of favor will come upon everyone this month. The poor shall be made rich this month. Sir. The sick shall be totally healed this month. Sir. The oppressed shall be delivered this month. The stagnated will accelerate greatly this month. As we begin to jump and live and give glory to Jesus. Everything around you will move forward. Everything around you will assume a new change. Those of you who believe, raise your hand and say thank you Jesus. And today being our science and wonders banquet, I'd like you to get set for the wonders of heaven. Our series of teaching this month is caption, Understanding the Miracle Power of Praise. Understanding the Miracle Power of Praise. It is understanding that determines the quality of life that you live. Understanding determines the quality of life that you live. Everyone may be doing the same thing, but the result will vary according to the understanding behind the action of each person. That's why the Bible admonishes us that we should praise God with understanding. Psalm 47 verse 7. Praise him with understanding. For God is the king of all the earth. If you want to sing praises to him, sing it with understanding. Sing with understanding. Because it is the understanding that determines the quality of results that you obtain from the praise. What is the unique thing about praise? We praise God for things to happen. When we thank him, we are thanking him for what has already happened, basically. But when we praise him, we move him. When we praise him, we move him to make things happen. Therefore, praisers of God are movers of God. Praisers of God are movers of God. If you want to move God, praise Him. Why? Because praise focuses on the faithfulness of God. Praise touches on the faithfulness of God. Not on the happenings around us. When we are praising him, we are celebrating his faithfulness. What does it mean to be faithful? It means to be unchangeable. To be unchangeable. When we are praising God, we are telling him, you cannot change. You cannot change. To be faithful means to be constant. God is constant. Faithful is he that calleth thee who also will do it. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 24. Therefore, in everything, give thanks. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 18 and 24. 
When we praise him, we are celebrating his unchangeability. When we praise him, we are celebrating the efficacy, the infallibility of his word. Psalm 56, verses 4 and 10. We repeat it. In God, I will praise his word. In God, have I put my trust. Therefore, I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. Verse 10. In God, will I praise his word. So, the praise of God focuses on him and his word. In the Lord, will I praise his word. So, when we are in praise, we shift our focus from our situation unto God. Praise means shifting your focus from circumstances to God. Paul and Silas were in the prison. There was a circumstance around them. There was a negative situation around them. But they shifted their focus from the prison and focused on God. That it does not matter what is happening. God is faithful. Say me, God is faithful. I want to hear you very well. Say it again. That is what the devil does not want to hear. He wants you to be talking about your situation. He wants you to be describing what you are going through. If you can shock him by declaring, I don't care what is happening, God is faithful. That was what Abraham and Sarah did. Hebrews 11, 11. Sarah judged God faithful. Through faith also Sarah herself received strength to conceive of seed and deliver of a child when she was past age. How? Because she judged God faithful who has spoken. They were celebrating the faithfulness of God. Romans chapter 4 verse 20. He staggered not at the promises of God through unbelief but was strong in the faith. How? By giving glory to God and through faith, Sarah conceived. How? Because she judged God faithful, giving glory to God. I don't worry, I don't care, I know that God is on my side. I don't worry, I don't care, I know that God is on my side. I don't worry, I don't care, I know that God is on my side. His rod and his staff, oh, they comfort me. You, you need to look away from your circumstance and focus on the faithfulness of God. God is faithful. It does not matter what's happening. No food in the house, God is faithful. No money for house rent, God is faithful. Business seems to be slow, but God is faithful. Hallelujah. Will somebody say with me, God is faithful? Also, praise provokes God to take over our battles because in praise we stir up God's jealousy. In praise we move God. In praise we stir up his jealousy. Second Chronicles chapter 20 from verse 22 to 24 as they began to praise him. God set ambushment against the enemies. Get ready this month. Everyone call an enemy to you will begin to fight themselves. They destroy themselves. They finish themselves. You will be watching and God will be fighting. When we pray to God, he answers. But when we praise him, he steps in. Prayer attracts answers but praise attracts God praise attracts God answer is limited but God is unlimited when you pray God sends answers in the measure of the prayer but when you praise he comes down himself I don't know what you want you want answer or you want God Amen. because 
When it comes down, it gives to you beyond what you ask for. That's why people who live in praise actually live in God. They live in God. When praise goes up, God comes down. Psalm 47, verses 5 to 7. When praise goes up, God comes down. God is gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of the trumpet. Sing praises to him. That's what I mean. Sing praises. Sing praises unto our king. Sing praises. For God is the king of all the earth. Sing praises with understanding. God is visibly coming down this month on the behalf of someone. Now, we realize that there are wonders that moves mountain in our praise. There is what we call the mountain moving praise. When you have obstacles before you that cannot be moved, move into praise. When you have obstacles before you that cannot be moved, move into praise and God will be on the move. When you have mountains that refuse to move, be in praise. Move into mountains. I mean, move into praise. And God will move into action against the immovable mountains. And we saw this very clearly in the story of the children of Israel, Psalm 114. Psalm 114. When Israel came out of Egypt, God was in the midst of them from verse 1. When Israel went out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of a strange language. Judah was his sanctuary. The word Judah there means praise. Praise was his sanctuary and therefore Israel became an object of dominion. And Israel is domain. God's domain is created by praise. It is our praise that defines God's domains. God was in the midst of them. Judges chapter 1 verses 1 to 3. Judah, Israel was to go to battle. And when they prayed, Lord, here we are. Who shall go up for us against the Canaanites force to fight against them? And the Lord said, Judah shall go up. Praise shall go up. When praise goes up, God comes down. For I have delivered the land into his hand. It is praise that takes delivery of what prayer has requested. It is praise that takes delivery of what prayer has requested. God was in the midst of them. And how did God come into the midst of them? He came into the midst of them through their praise. For he inhabits the praise of his people, Psalm 22, verse 3. Now, back to Psalm 114, verse 3. What happened? The sea saw them and fled. Sea doesn't listen to people, but sea obeys God. God was before them, and the sea saw them and fled. And Jordan was driven back. This month, as you praise him, Every obstacle shall give way to you. Yeah. Verse 6. The mountain skips like ram. The little heats like lambs. They were jumping and leaping. When God is coming, who can stand? Ye mountains, what hailed thee that ye skip like rams? And ye little hills like lamb. And they said, verse 7. Why shall we not skip? Tremble thou heart at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob. Every noise around your life will come to silence this month. Yeah. They tremble before the presence of God. Anywhere praise goes, God goes. Permit me to say that praise drags God. Praise drags God. It moves God. Praisers of God are carriers of God. How many of you want to carry God with you? Then be in praise. Now, we saw the story of 
Saul. Saul was on the throne, but an evil spirit came upon him. And every time David played this instrument, the evil spirit on Saul departed as the result of God's arrival. 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 23. 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 23. And it came to pass, when the evil spirit from God was upon Saul, that David took an harp, instrument of praise, and played with his hand. And what was the result? Saul, who was possessed, became refreshed. And as well, the evil spirit departed from him. So when we praise God, God comes down. God appears. An evil spirit disappears. There is no devil in my house. You know why? My house is a house of praise. No devil hangs around me. Why? I am too much for him to handle. How? Because I am praising God every day. I am praising God every day. And I release upon you today the garment of praise this month. Yeah. No devil will hang around your life again. Yeah. As we begin to close, let us quickly understand also that praise is expression of faith. Please listen to this very carefully. Praise is expression of faith in God. When you are praising God, you are simply saying, I am believing God. Faith will always praise God. Praise is expression of faith in God's ability to perform. So, praise equals faith. The same way faith moves God, praise moves God. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please God. It's impossible to move God. Without faith, it is impossible to move God. It's impossible to please God. And then in Psalm 69, verses 30 and 31, the scripture admonishes, I will praise the name of God with a song, and I will magnify him with thanksgiving. And what does that mean? This also shall please the Lord. So praise pleases God just as faith pleases God. And so if faith can move mountains, then praise can move mountains. Mark chapter 11, verse 23. If thou shalt say to this mountain, be thou removed, be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in your heart, but believe that those things which you say shall come to pass, you shall have whatsoever you say. Faith pleases God. Praise pleases God. And so, if faith can move mountain, praise also can move mountain. How? Paul and Silas were in the prison. In Acts chapter 16, from verses 25 to 30. And they prayed and sang praises to God and the prisoners heard them and what was the effect and suddenly there was a great earthquake what happened praise began to move the house praise began just as faith moved mountain praise moved the prison moved the prison doors so that the foundations of the prison were shaken and immediately the doors were open and everyone's bands were loosed so faith and praise have the same effect when you are praising God you are simply believing God and whatever faith will do praise will do this month every mountain before you must move I'm not sure I had your amen this month every mountain before you will clear off give Jesus a very big hand everybody hallelujah
If you want your praise to be acceptable before the Lord, your heart must be presentable before the Lord. Because what God sees first is your heart. Your heart first before your voice. Somebody is here this morning, you are not sure whether your heart is right before God. You want your sins to be forgiven. You want Jesus to come into your life. You want to reconcile with God. You want to walk away from evil and walk to God. You are here seated this morning. You are lacking peace in your heart. You are lacking joy in your soul. Only Jesus can give it to you. Wherever you are, you know yourself very well. Nobody knows you more than yourself. And I know you will be very sincere this morning. You want Jesus in your life. Will you permit me to pray for you? I love you. I want to pray for you. Jesus, I want to be saved. I want to be born again. If that's what you are saying in your heart, stand to your feet right now. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. You want to be born again? You want Jesus in your life? God bless you. Stand to your feet anywhere you are, on the gallery, on the ground floor. Stand to your feet right now. I want to be saved. I want my sins forgiven. I want to be born again. I want the peace of God. I want the joy of God. I don't want to live in sin again. I don't want to be far away from God again. Somebody is still seated who needs to stand up. Quickly do that right now. Quickly do that right now. Quickly do that right now. Maybe you are here also this morning. You are once born again, but you backslided or you are backsliding. The kind of love you have for God before is dwindling. And this morning, you want to reconcile back to God. Wherever you are, stand to your feet as well. And all of you who are standing up, can I request you to take your Bible, if you came to church with any, and any other thing you came to church with, and start coming to the altar here. I want to pray for you right now. Start coming to the altar. Start coming to the altar. Church, let's give Jesus a very big hand. While they are coming, please be reminded, the books of the month, as indicated in the announcement bulletin, they are available for you. We have Understanding the Power of Praise and Wonders of Praise. Please get your copies. Also, we have uh, teaching materials in CDs. Please make sure you pick your copies. The Miracles Are Real for the Week is also in the name of Jesus. Today's edition also carries the prophetic theme of the month. On page 3, you need to pick it so you can be reading it to yourself every day. God is a good God. I say God is a good God. God is a good God. Rush down here. God bless you. All of you in front here, I'd like you to please bow your heads and pray this most important prayer of your life ever. Bow your heads in prayer. Lift up your right hand. All of you in front here, lift up your right hand. Close your eyes and pray this prayer with me. Say with me, Lord Jesus. Say it out loud, Lord Jesus. I come to you today as a sinner. I need your mercy. I need your forgiveness. Cleanse my sins away. Give me new life. From today, I receive Jesus into my heart as my Lord and my savior thank you for saving me thank you for forgiving my sins from today jesus christ is my lord and my savior amen heavenly father we receive these souls into your kingdom and i decree that satan has no more power over them in jesus precious name father let your grace that brought them keep them and let your name be glorified in jesus wonderful name amen. amen please open your eyes with a smile on your face say with me i am now born again are you glad you are born again say it one more time i am now born again god bless you please allow our church pastors i mean the officials to attend to you as you go they direct you now either this way or this other way god bless you give jesus a big hand church as they go what a blessed day what a glory what a joy Shout hallelujah. Shout a loud hallelujah. You'll be glad to know that this week is very unique. The first full week of the month, from Wednesday all through to Friday, 
will be waiting on the Lord in prayer and fasting our week of spiritual emphasis. Somebody excited about that? Give Jesus a big hand. Hallelujah. To praise him. Somebody is speaking a miracle. Somebody is speaking a sign. Somebody is speaking a wonder. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' precious name. I'd like you to focus your eyes on God. I am set for signs and wonders. Some strangers will be dropping from somebody's body right now. Some affliction will be dropping from your body. Some growth will be dropping from your body. Those things that came with you must drop off your body now because Jesus is going into the house cleaning everybody of their affliction. Now let's go and go with speed, go with accuracy, go with smartness. Amen. Hallelujah. There's no one, there's no one like Jesus. There's no one, there's no one like Jesus. There's no one, there's no one like Jesus.
check yourself now and you will quickly in your praise jump out here and share your testimonies how many of you have a testimony to share as you are praising him something happened to you start dancing your way to the altar now start dancing your way to the altar why I continue let's continue to praise him something has happened jump out <laughs>
Testimonies, more miracles are taking place. As soon as you notice anything in your body, just jump up quickly. We'll take these few testimonies and please don't be in a hurry to go. Wait for the final prophetic blessing before you leave the premises this morning. Please go by it. Emmanuel Fidelis, four years chest pain disappeared. Comfort. Onuebi, during the praise, three months abdominal pain gone. Thank you, Jesus. Orlando Osito Bukola, three months of itching ceased during the dancing and praise. Thank you, Jesus. Come quickly as we hear your name. Janet Samu, 14 days. Heavy flow of blood dried up instantly as she was. Thank you, Jesus. EA patients are caught. One month of heaviness left her body as she Praise was. God. Blessing Sunday. One week of leg and thigh pain disappear. Thank you, Jesus. Ezekiel Tanner, three weeks swollen legs deflated instantly. Swollen legs? Joseph Yakubu had body weakness and could not stand, but since yesterday, but everything is gone, is walking, is moving. Can you see him? Thank you, Lord. Victoria Anthony, one month of aching all over the body disappeared. Thank you, Jesus. The shackles are broken. Jesus is Lord. Abijuru Rosemary, one day of severe leg pain, gone. Gone and gone forever. Gone. One week of fever, Tina Ellie disappeared. Thank you, Jesus. Princess Oniriere, stomach pain since yesterday disappeared. Just take two more. Judith Sunday, body ache, body aches disappear for one day. Finally, Stella Archie, stomach pain. She came here with some stomach pain, but it's gone. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, everybody, give God a big hand. All of you, please come this way. Come this way. You have come to show yourself to the Lord. Those strangers are gone and gone forever. Everybody rise to your feet. Give Jesus a very big hand. 
a miracle worker. Give God a big hand. Please start going back to your seat. Start going back to your seat. I thought the church is still clapping for the Lord, the miracle worker. Amen. This is just a foretaste of the happenings of God in our midst this month. Swollen foot leveled as we are praising God. 14 years of blood flow ceased as we are praising God. Whatever the devil has been tormenting you with, you'll never see them anymore. Now, as we pray this final prayer, every first time worshiper, today is your first day worshiping in Living Faith Church Goshen on Sunday morning. Will you please come to the altar here? Come and quickly take your blessing. Everyone worshiping for the first time Sunday morning at Living Faith Church Goshen. Come on here quickly. Come on here quickly. Carry your bag. Whatever you came to church with, God bless you. While they are doing that, everyone in the assembly, lift up your hand and begin to thank God again. Will you praise him some more? Before I release this prophetic blessing upon your life, give him the glory. Give him the glory. Give him the glory. Thank him because you are receiving your due blessings this month. I'm receiving my due blessings this week. Everything programmed for me, nothing will fail. Everything will work. Nothing will fail. Everything will work. Nothing will fail. Everything will work. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name forever. Psalm 67 verses 5 and 6 and 7. Let the people praise thee, O Lord. Let all the people praise thee. Say with me, I will praise him. Amen. What will be the result? Verse 6. Then shall the heart yield our increase. Stretch your hands here. I decree that this week your heart will yield our increases. Everything you do this week will bring back increases for you. Because you have made a choice to praise him, it has become his decision to bless you. You will never suffer dryness again in your life. This week in particular, nothing around your life shall be dry. Your business, your career, your various endeavors, Suffer no more dryness in the name of Jesus. I call you blessed today. And so shall you remain. And for everyone worshipping with us for the very first time, I decree that this will be the beginning of beginnings in your life. So shall it be. In Jesus' wonderful name. For all of you worshipping with us very first time today, we love you. We welcome you. We thank God that he brought you. And I believe you have no regret coming here. Do you have any regret coming today? Well, the blessing has come upon you. Please join us in our future services and enjoy the best of God. You are welcome. We love you. And God bless you. Please allow our church officials to have a brief chat with you um, as they direct you right now. Please go with them. God bless you. You are returning here with your testimony. You are returning here with your testimony. Shout hallelujah. Our junior Bible school commences tomorrow. Already we have a large, large crowd. So no more room. Uh, the room is filled up already. Uh, if you have not been registered, please don't bother because we don't have enough room. Uh, but the school is starting tomorrow. It's going to be a great time in the name of Jesus. Also, our Bible school, uh, the Word of Faith Bible Institute program is commencing on the 11th. Please take advantage of this and uh, enjoy the blessing of God. All first-time worshipers and new converts all through the year will be running the Bible school free of charge. You're not paying any dime. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Water baptism next Sunday. Please make sure you don't miss it if you are yet to baptize in water by immersion. And remember again, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, waiting on the Lord, 6 p.m. on Wednesday and on Thursday, 11 p.m. on, Saturday, on Friday, we'll be having the Osana night. Suffer no affliction. Yeah.
your oppressors will become oppressed. Your afflictors will be afflicted. People who don't like you will favor you. This week, you are going to the topmost top. This week, you are leaving the floor for the top. This week, your name shall be announced for greatness. This week, a great cap will fit your head up. This week, our nation is in peace and quietness. You are blessed. Jesus, wonderful name. Bring your hand to your chest and bless yourself with the goodness of the Lord. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever. Amen. Exceeding grace. Strange acts. That's your portion. 29 people came to share their testimony. You will soon join them in the name of Jesus. Thank you.